Hey, what's going on guys? This is uh, Nerf Herder. I've got a, another commission. I'm gonna do a video of real quick. This hilt is super cool. <laughs> All right, so I've had it for a little bit, but I just finished installing it the other day and I'm trying to catch up on my, my videos. And um, I was waiting on speaker to come in. And once it did, I slapped it in and I was like, holy cow, this thing is, <laughs> this thing is a lot of fun. Whoop, this is for my friend Dylan. I know you guys have heard me say Dylan a lot on this channel um, of Dembic Relics. He got a Mercury Saber. This is my first experience with the Mercury. This is a hilt, an oval hilt. A kind of stylish oval hilt that is done by uh, a friend, TJ Wells, at uh, Ignition Saber Company. Um, TJ has skills I've gotten crazy over the past what a couple years that I've known him and um, he's a really really nice dude and just a positive person in the community and I respect him a lot there has been a lot of these hilts um, I really do need to get one now I stopped buying hilts personally because I have too many and I got a problem so I had to kind of stop myself from grabbing stuff but I really do want to get one of these hilts now um, and I even like this this size so apparently there's uh, different sizes this is the longer one and at first i was like man this thing is massive but then once i put a blade in it and swung it around i was like this is like one of my favorite sabers i've ever swung around <laughs> like it feels so cool when you got a blade in it to swing it around I, it's i love it i love every second of it so we're gonna get into it dylan did his own etching on this um this is a mandalorian themed like a beskar theme saber um so he's got the etching that he did this side is um this is the way in arabish it's gonna be hard to show off because this thing is is pretty shiny this is the way in arabish and on this side it's a clan of two and then he has a mud horn right up top which it turned out really cool he did a great job on this dylan just recently learned how to etch and it was cool watching him show a bunch of samples of things um dylan i put your two switches this way it's uh horizontal instead of vertical because you were he was always talking about how these are kind of hard for him to get used to and i feel like with the oval hilt and the switches on the sides it's so much easier for you to for you to click and um and get right like um i, I actually really like it this way so this has cc sabers NeoPixel connector, which is the first uh, that I've done, and I'm a big fan of them now. I think uh, I've never really messed with the pixels, with lit PCB pixels. Um, I just always felt like it was a little bit overkill and um, possible uh, a potential for things to go wrong. These have, they were easy to do. I haven't seen anything wrong with it. Um, so I'll probably be switching over to getting those and some of my hilts and stuff like that soon. I also have a blade plug that is from TJ Wells as well. Um, he also machines custom blade plugs, which is pretty cool. And then, so you got your two switches here. We got a Smuggler's Outpost speaker. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys real quick the um, chassis. Pretty cool, man. When I saw the chassis system, because Dylan sent me a picture and he's like, "Hey, man, will you uh, would you be down and install this for me?" And I was like, I looked at the chassis and all the setups, and I was like, "Yep, I would totally be all right with that." Because um, everything's well thought out, everything's well designed. So that you unscrew right here at your, uh, right, right above your, or right below your emitter, and your whole body slides off. And then you got your speaker, 28 millimeter. We got the Smuggler's Outpost full range, one of my, my absolute favorite speakers. It's about all I use, really, are the Smuggler's Outpost 28 uh, millimeter speakers. I just, I can't go to any other, <laughs> I can't go to any other after that. So your battery is right there, removable, and, um, Spring side is your negative, y'all. Get with it. That's what Jeremy says all the time. Spring, uh, spring side is your negative, but um, the cradle is a little weird to get used to. Um, it's not bad though. It's just once you get it in, you gotta kind of. Where is Grand Admiral Thrawn? You gotta kind of straighten it out. You'll feel it. Obviously, there's only one way it really needs to sit in there. But one of the cool things is, well, you got Ignition Saber Company. That's TJ's. That's TJ's uh, company logo the ignition uh, logo. And then this is the door for your CFX. So I got your CFX tucked in there. 
Um, she is held down on the other side, on the sides, with a little bit of E6000. So it's not going anywhere, but your access is right there. Super easy. You just don't want to pull up and down on the board a lot. Just, you know, pop it in and out and um, the board will stay fine. But um, yeah, close the door when you're done. Make sure you got the right side. Slide it over. Slides on and off. So yeah, it feels good. It feels really good to slide this thing on and off. So once that's down, then you get your screw to hold the uh, body. And um, this sound resonance is phenomenal. It's so good. I turn the speaker down. Usually I do anyways for Smuggler's Outpost. These things get gnarly and I don't want to blow it up. And um, I have to put them at like 75 or 80 usually, but the sound resonance on this thing is insane. Your bounty hunter failed. <laughs> One thing I immediately noticed, and you will notice, is the whole body vibrates. It's like it's got its own, like, like a rumble motor in there. I believe this is, uh, this is Juan Sith. Uh, he had, Dylan had me get a couple Juan Sith, uh, or whichever one Sith ones he bought. I know he got the, he bought the Jedi. I think the Slave One sound font, and um, and the Luke Mando one. And then the other two sound fonts on here that I threw on are the Sorcerer, which is Jesse's Kyberphonic fonts uh, Sorcerer, which is pretty dope. I have that, and I've been waiting to review it, and I will be reviewing it on this uh, hilt because it's just perfect. But man. <laughs> So fun. You have your vents right here. Those CC Sabers pixels light it up very, very nicely. May the force be with you. Let's go ahead and put that blade in there and get right to it. Really cool blade plug. Really like the blade plug and it fits perfectly. It's like the right size and everything. TJ really did a good job. And then down in there is your CC Sabers pixel. Tell me what I want to know. Very bright. He's stubborn. Not him. You. <laughs> Lock it down. Emitter's got a good tightness on it also, which is pretty good. It's <laughs> it is so cool, man. Oh, I might have to really back up to even show you guys. This thing is, it's massive. So long. So cool though. Juan Sith, whatever the Luke one is, I forgot what it is, it's Luke Mando.
Oh man. Tears. <laughs> I gotta set the blasters up. I forgot to set blasters to how I like them. I will give my life to protect the child, but he will not be safe until he masters his abilities. <sighs> Super cool. And it looks so good. The vents under that shroud. That's a good sound at home, I like that. He is strong with the force, but talent without training is nothing. Ooh, that's a stab at Ray. I don't care what anybody Sound says. bank selection. Are you a Jedi? I think this is the Slave One, maybe? Yeah, this is whatever the Slave One ship is. <laughs> Man, this is a, like, it's such a big hilt, but I love it. <laughs> Those accent swings are pretty dope. This is the, like, the seismic charge one. <laughs> Let's get one more time. That's actually a really cool addition. All right. Child is by Lord Blocko. This is like a Grogu font. I um, I did a font review for this one not long ago on that corn horn I made for Jaws. Oh, dude, the hum vibrates the whole hilt. I can honestly say, out of any hilt I've held, this is probably my favorite to hold. Like, the way that it, I mean that right there, you can hear that little, you can hear that, right? It's a very like, smooth hum, hum underneath, underneath the actual like, high pitched hum. There's a very subtle underneath it. And what that's doing is resonating the whole hilt and vibrating it to that. So not only do I hear that, I feel that. That's so stinking cool. So it just it feels like there's energy. This is the most realistic I think I've ever felt a lightsaber because it just it feels, feels like there's power coming from this thing. It's really cool. Sad to see this one go. <laughs> oh 
A little Grogu grunts and moans. Sound bank selection. The child. And then I left the stock smooth swing fonts on here. Crystal focus. So you got all those. Audio player. SD system men. Exit men. Asuka Tano. Bo-Katan sent me. All right, so this is The Sorcerer by Kyrophonic. I'm going to probably do its own review with this hilt on it. But um, what I got to show you, we got to swing it around. This is just gnarly. The accent swings. First time Jesse sent this to me, and uh, I was live streaming with Lando and Jesse, and they were like, <laughs> like put it on and listen to it because they wanted to see how I enjoyed it. And oh my God, the accent swings. I, I wasn't expecting it. And as soon as they hit, I was like, that's some chills, man. It's good. May the force be with you. So on this, uh, the Sorcerer, you get two versions. One is a like a uh, standard, and then the other one is a best car. So it's like the two battles in the Mandalorian, uh, but oh, it's so good. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, here we go. All right, so it's the exit swings, ready? <laughs> so yeah, what I mean by these accent swings is listen, you're gonna hear like an uppercut of bass. <laughs> For a second. Oh, that's good. That's so good. There's a couple audio tracks on there. It's really good. Sound bank selection. So the fonts are the same. A Mandalorian and a Jedi. The font. They'll never see it coming. Font waves are the same, but uh, it's different style fonts. <laughs> So this is uh, different clashes and your bounty hunter failed. May the force be with you. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of fun. God, that's so good. Like, you guys, I'm being for real right now. That is just so much fun to swing around. Like, I have a couple hilts where the sound resonance is so nice. And you get just like a, you just get a great bit of resonance. Like, a good bit of vibrations, natural vibrations. Because a lot of people want a, um, rumble motors and stuff like that. And it's just like, this is necessary. And, um... And there's so much space that it takes up and whatnot and um, with a good bass speaker and good resonance you're gonna get that vibration anyways but since this whole thing is freaking just one giant beautiful resonance chamber oh my god i love it so much but like i'm telling you guys with the right font the right hum this whole handle is just vibrating a little bit and it feels really cool man it, like it makes you feel like you're holding a weapon Fear in you. <laughs> As a matter of fact. Sound bank selection. Are you a Jedi? The child. 
As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and uh, do that one more time before we go. <laughs> Lord Blocko's the child. Is this one. I need one. <laughs> I need one. Oops, sorry, I'm blinding the ass here. That's how I feel. Okay, I can swing this around on camera all night long. It's just such a it's such a fun hilt. I haven't I haven't had something quite like this in a while. It's just a really cool experience. So TJ, this is one heck of a design, man. I see. I get. I totally get why people have been buying them up and customizing themselves. I definitely want to do one. I was talking about doing a Kill Bill style one, like a Tori Hanzo uh, vibe to it. I would love to do an Edo wrap on one of these things. Um, Edo wrapping on an oval hilt is a lot easier to do than doing an Edo wrap on a you know, a circular hilt or whatever. But yeah, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to snag one of these one of these days. All right, guys, so that'll do it for this Mercury hilt. Uh, can't say enough good things about it, man. This was just a great build all around. It was uh, super fun, super easy, well-designed, Great sound resonance. I can't recommend these enough. Honestly, I had no clue, but um, I should have expected that coming from TJ. He does nothing but the best work. So guys, that'll do it for this one. Um, I will be doing more reviews. I will probably do that sound font review specifically with this, just to, just to show it off again. But um, Dylan will have it out too soon. And I gotta slam it and glam it first though, man. I gotta take some glam shots and then slam those glam shots. Um, but. Thank you guys so much for indulging me. And until next time, this is the way. Who's scruffy looking?